Welcome to A-Level Photography. My name is Beverly Rogerson and I am the course leader and teacher for this subject. A-Level Photography will allow you to expand on your creative horizons by taking and editing photographs. You will also be encouraged to contextualise using historical and contemporary artists. So your work and development shows an understanding of the creative process. Over the two years, you'll gain knowledge and understanding of the digital SLR cameras. The use of editing software such as Photoshop, Bridge and Lightroom will also be taught to you. Emphasis is also placed on composition of photographs while looking at a range of artistic styles that can be developed photographically. This is a unique creative subject as many students choose this as an option as their creative outlet when they aren't a confident drawer or painter. To study A-level photography, you will need at least a grade four in the subject or a relevant GCSE art programme. If students haven't taken GCSE art, then a portfolio of work will be considered. To study this, you will need to choose a combination of subjects in the past, we find it sits nicely with other creative subjects the college has to offer. However, many photographers are freelance or self-employed. You may want to consider studying business as a qualification alongside A-level photography to boost your business knowledge. Naturally, this is a vital qualification for those aiming for a career in photography. Our students typically consider careers in areas such as documentary, fashion and product photography, media, post-production and even styling. This is a two-year programme. In year one, students will be introduced to a variety of experiences that explore a range of photographic media, techniques and processes. They will be introduced to both traditional and new technologies as the course develops. Focus in year one is mainly on composition and how to frame images while experimented with different genres of the subject. The students will cover a range of small workshops, starting with architecture, moving into the studio to experience studio life, working with still life materials, portraiture, and ending the year doing some street photography. Year two, the year is split into two units component one and an externally set assignment. The students will produce work based around a chosen theme and subject matter developed from a personal starting point. Component one is a personal investigation which allows students to develop a portfolio of practical work alongside a written assignment of a minimum of a thousand words that shows critical understanding in relation to a practical portfolio. The personal investigation is internally set and assessed and externally moderated. Component two is an exam unit. This component incorporates two major elements, the prep work and then the 15 hour period of sustained focus. The externally set assignment comprises of externally set themes, which suggests a starting point for the students. They will then be expected to develop their own personal work from this theme related to different starting points. This is also internally assessed and externally moderated. So how this course is assessed. A-level students will use sketchbooks and workbooks to demonstrate project management throughout practical learning, ideas development and critical analysis. Coursework takes the pressure away from traditional exam times. There is, however, a timed exam for this final production of component two. This only contains a small proportion of the marks and is assessed with the entire coursework. Throughout the year, formal and informal assessment will take place. This may be in the form of written assessment with grading or one-to-one -one guidance during the lesson. Tuition is enjoyable, structured, friendly, supportive and resulting in high grade achievements for this course. 
A-level photography develops a wide range of skills, analytical and critical thinking and problem solving, which will be useful at university and future careers. Photography may offer a high creative, hands-on alternative to other subjects you may be studying at A-level. Our A-level in photography boasts of outstanding, up-to-date, industry standard equipment and software. As part of the course, you will all have the opportunity to work in a professional lighting studio equipped with high-tech pro photo lights, access to the use of a traditional darkroom and Photoshop tutorials in our Mac suite. Most of you won't have the opportunity to visit our photography classroom. The room itself has an adjoining studio and darkroom. This allows the students to work confidently in the areas knowing that technical support is close at hand. On the course, you will get the opportunity to work with the Canon equipment. We have three digital SLRs for students to learn when working in the studio. We also use a Canon photo printer when students complete their edits. These are high quality printers. As part of the second year, we offer all the students to experiment with traditional photographic materials by using the darkroom. Here students can develop their own black and white film alongside black and white prints. It's something we have found to be very popular and it is even making a comeback at universities. At the end of the two years, the students will all experience how to create an exhibition. Second year students are invited to take part in an end of year show. This allows them to showcase their best work to invite family and friends to celebrate their achievements over their time at Huddersfield New College. Not only does this course prepare you for university or apprenticeships, we have excellent links with Huddersfield University. They offer talks for our students applying for a degree in the subject and workshops to experience life on campus. In addition to this, professional workshops and talks have been run over the years. This is where we ask our ex-students who are now working in industry to come back and discuss life after New College. Some even have run professional lighting workshops for our students to gain industry experience. These have been well attended and feedback has been positive. Here is a small example of students' work. You can see that there is a diverse range of topics in creative knowledge. We encourage the students to channel their own unique style while on the course resulting in some truly outstanding imagery. Students who may be studying two creative subjects may even choose to draw from their knowledge and combine the two together. For example, a student studying photography and fine art wanted to have a crossover of the two and combine their work creating a beautiful photographic and fine art hybrid. This can be seen in the bottom right hand of the screen. We encourage that all students work in whatever way they feel will help them in their chosen career path. This is Melanie Ford. Melanie is one of our highest achievers gaining a grade A in the subject. Melanie decided not to continue with photography at university, but choosing a career path in psychology with counselling at Huddersfield University. Despite this choice, photography has helped to gain confidence and also showed her that photography can also play a big part in the psychology industry. Melanie researched the possibility of combining her creative knowledge by looking into art or phototherapy as part of her studies. Over the years, the students have successfully gained places on photographic degrees, such as fashion photography, landscape photography or product photography. While others have chosen to combine subjects to study things such as creative marketing, styling and media and photography, for example. We even have some of our ex-students now working for companies such as Kath Kidson, Primark and Remington. Not all of our students wish to go on to universities. Some choose to get jobs or choose to pursue a higher apprenticeship. This is something that we support. We make sure that every student has the opportunity to choose the right career path for them. We support with portfolio applications, 
UCAS applications and even job applications. Thank you for spending the time to listen and read the virtual open event. I do hope you take the opportunity to either email me any questions or queries that you have about the subject. Also, don't forget, our next event is on Wednesday, the 9th of December. I look forward to hearing from you.